Hello dear viewers. In this video I show you how to fix certificate problems in SAP. In my last video I showed you how to call an external API from SAP. How this works and how to find free APIs I show you in the video what I link here above right. The first time I tried to call this external API, I got the dump which was caused by a certificate error. I would like to simulate the whole thing again, the error and the solution. So this is my program, let's run and we see a dump. The error is HTTP communication failure. So let's go back to the program. Let's open the program again and we set the breakpoint and to the line where I get the response here by O client receive and we call the program again. Then we do a double click on O client. I press the key F5 double click on detail, another one F5 and I see here the error, it's a SSL handshake error with my called Earl. The certificate of this website is untrusted. So what means that? Let's go uh, forward and we get the dump here. So let's call the program again. And um, my SAP system don't trust this URL. My system don't trust this website, this external AP, API. So let's copy this link of this API and paste it to a browser window. Press enter and we have here an error message. That means we can call the API. We got an, an, an error message here, but we can call the API. It's an invalid API key. But uh, let's have a look to the certificate. Click on the lock, then uh, connection is secure, then on certificate is valid. And let's, we, we look at the certification path and we see here different uh, certifications. So we do a double click on the upper one, then on details. And if we trust this website, if we trust this uh, certificate, we can copy this to a file. So let's click on this button. Next. Then we keep the default format here and code it binary. Next. Now let's pick a file name. I name it uh, Airport info because this is the name of the API. Click on save. Then uh, next. Next finish. And we see here the export was successful. The next is the next step is we open the transaction as trust. It's the trust manager. And here we do a double click on SSL client uh, standard. And there are some uh, certificate in our list. Then we click on edit mode. We scroll down to click on the button import certificate. Then we pick the downloaded uh, certificate here. 
let's open it continue here okay a security question because we upload a file from the file system we allow this and here we see our certificate and now we have to add this uh, certificate to the certificate list so we press on the button here and now we have added the certificate to our certificate list and we click on the save button we close this window and we run the program again oh before we remove the breakpoint and then we run the program again and now we see it works we get an uh, http status code of 200 status text is okay and we get a response here okay in the end you only have to subscribe to my channel but of course only if you like it i would be very happy about the subscription write me something in the comments i'm always happy to read them i hope to see you again in one of my next videos many thanks and see you soon